welcome to the Rocco Taco channel today. Today's video, let's talk about Raptorium. Uh, it's the buzzword lately, CPU mining, buying Ryzen uh, 3900Xs and putting them to work. I've been doing it for about a week, week and a half now, watching others, reading up on it, trial and error, dealing with heat issues on the CPU, stuff like that. This video, I'm just gonna show you where to download the stuff, how to pick your pools, why you want to pick the pools you want to pick, uh, setting the configuration file, how to get a wallet, how to get their Raptorium wallet, download it and get your wallet address. You will need the wallet address to feed and set in the uh, CPU miner config file so it knows where to pay you out, you know, send the payouts to. And we'll show you that quick and dirty and then we'll show you the settings in the uh, CPU miner uh, config file which defaults to a European flock pool and the reason is the CPU miner if I'm correct is written by the same guy or same software team that runs flock pool. Flock pool has the majority of the uh, hash right now for Raptorium and you can go over here let's divert for one second let's go to miner pool mining pool stats dot stream slash raptorium write that down right there you want that and this will show you the the uh, the uh, the pools available and their fees and their hash rates and their lot the last found uh for each pool that you can mine raptorium so rock flock pool is the first our plant zero one one data i'm going to show you it defaults to flock pool. I'm going to show you how I switch to 011 data mining just to experiment. Notice the fee off the top 1% for flock pool. 011 data is 0.5%. So fees add up. And saying that, I am doing this all on Windows. I'm not doing it through Hive OS. I know people have done it through Hive OS. The reason I do Hive OS is because I'm not at the point where I'm going to pay more fees. There's enough fees going around from, from Ethermine and their GUI fee, the gas fee, to fees, fees, fees. At the end of the day, I like to have some money I made instead of giving it all away. Um, it's the old thing where people that mine, the miners, the people that make the money are not the miners. It's the people that supply those tools and services for the miners that make the money. If you look back in history, that tended to be the case. The people that sold the picks and shovels made the money. And that's why I'm careful on all these fees. All right, let's get back to it. Raptorium.com is your next favorite URL. Go there. You can download the wallet. Go to click on wallet. Go to your favorite, whatever you're running on. I'm running on Windows. You just, you know, basic stuff, guys. Download. Boom. It downloads it right down here. Got it. You got it. Easy, right? You're going to want to uninstall that and install it on your uh, workstation, your desktop. That will run on your desktop. That's your Raptorium wallet. That's where you'll set up your Raptorium wallet address. You can do one to many, as many as you want, right? And I'll show you that. <clears throat> All right, let's go back. Raptorium.com, we're back. Go to get the CPU miner. This is going to run on the workstation where your CPU is. Do it. Do it now. As of, speaking, as of this video, we're at 1, 2, 4, 1, hotfix the latest you can read through it which i advise just scan it if you don't understand it just read it anyway uh let's see windows you want to download that click boom over here it downloads cpu minor dash g is your friend all right so that basically what i do now i just go over here show and finder there they are right there install those guys right got it All right, you got them installed. All right. Let's do the wallet first. Because the wallet is where you're going to get your wallet address. And you need that to fill in the uh, CPU miner config file. Mine is already set up, but I'm going to show you how I did it. Let's go into file. Yeah, once you install this, this thing will come up. When it first comes up, it's going to get all the blocks off the network and update. It could take 10 to 30 to an hour to do that. So just be patient. Don't start clicking on things and freaking out. 
give it time, let it finish, like a dog humping your leg, let it finish. Once it finishes, leave it up, and then eventually you can go in, you know, back up your wallet once you start getting some yummy raptorium. And uh, you can also set up your re receiving address. This is what I want to do now, even as it is updating the, the information from the network on your instance of the wallet, you can still get your um, receiving address, your wallet set up. Go in here, boom. So I have one set up already. This is my main puppy. If you want to send me lots of Raptorium, please do. Uh, if not, you go in here and go new the first time. You can name it, say, uh, let's test. And then test vid wallet just to make it unique. Kablamo, and what it does, there it is, there it is. So I really have two uh, Raptorium addresses now, but this is my main one I set up. So this is what you want. You want to pick, you know, create your wallet address, boom. Copy that, just keep that up for now. What you want to do now, since you have been a good little camper, go over to CPU Miner, which was just installed. You know, there it is, I just, I, I'm, I just put everything in downloads. It's it's my point of reference for everything I, I'm putting in, using and installing. I just go through doc, download and I know my stuff's there. I unzip it there. People may be more anal and do different things, but this is what I do. And this is where I can find things quickly. Because the goal is to get this stuff up and running and making you money. I don't want to waste time on putting stuff. Uh, you know what I mean? It's there. It's there. Go for it. All right. CPU miner. In this, in this uh, folder, you have... The running bat. This is the puppy you're going to run as administrator. Don't run it right away. You got to configure it. Otherwise, you're going to be giving the developer all of your uh, mind raptorium. If you want to be nice, go ahead, but I would not do it. All right, go in here. Config.json is your buddy. Click on that. Okay, in the config file, you will see the URL. You will see the URL backup and you'll see the user. What you want to do is set your polls here by default they give you eu.flockpool.com i said to us i did change it already but out of the box you'll have eu.flockpool.com so i said it to us.flockpool.com and i took this wallet address right here remember this guy remember this we want to go over to raptorium and this is that right there this is my wallet again if you want to send me lots of raptorium do it do it now all right, that's that wallet address. You take that, kablamo, copy, paste, and then this name here, period, you got to need the dot, and you put your worker name. I just, you know, a unique identifier. So when you look on the, for in this case, the flock pool dashboard that's you're mining on, you're going to see that worker name and how well it's performing. And most pools will have that as well. And that's that's what that's for. All right, how do you know? which pool URL to use. All right, let's go back over here. Let's go to, so it was flock pool. How do you know what URL to use? Oh, wow, this is start mining. Okay, start mining. Here we go, look at that. So US Central for me, uh, and it's us.flockpool.com. So both of these should be us.flockpool.com right here. A couple of them, it gives you the port, I hope. Yeah, the port, I'll show you the port. And this should be also, let's just change it for grins. Look at that. And then there's my wallet. And there is my worker name. And the port, what the heck is that port? Yeah, I'm glad you asked. There's the port. They do use secure SSL, which is good. That's your secure port. We highly recommend everyone use SSL port when connecting to the pool servers. There you go, that's good to know. Password, why do you want this password? Set your unique password on one of the workers that performs the best. Why do you want to set your password? Well, let's go over to Flock Pool. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my gosh, I forget where this is at. Dun, dun, dun. Flock Pool. Okay, let's go to Flock Pool. So I clicked on that. I, oh, I probably went too fast, sorry guys. You put in your address. Oh, that looks familiar. Again, that's that right there. Your wallet address right there, which is mine. Please send me some Raptorian. And um, 
that's what you use. You put that in there. As you start mining, you're going to see what you collected. I only collected 389 because I don't have a buttload of money to spend on CPUs at this point. But what you can do is if you want to change the payout at 10, 100, 1,000, depends how fast you're creating RTM or getting RTM, you go in and change it. When you click change, you put your password in here. You set your threshold. You can say whatever. Um, if you're really churning out multiple Ryzen 9s, you're, you're just rolling in the dough. And then your password here. Guess what that password is, guys? Kablamo right here. It's this thing. Whatever you said here, my password. You know, and then you put it in there, and then it'll let you do your minimum payout. All right. Does that make sense? You want to make sure you set this. A lot of guys will get this CPU miner G downloaded. And they'll just go, let's go to town and start running. And they'll run with the defaults and they'll start paying other people. They, whoever set up the config file, it's going to default to flock pool and it's going to default to whatever address was specified in the config file. You got to set the config file. You got to set it. Get your wallet set up, get your wallet address, set the config file, set your mining pool. All right, all right. Let's keep going. We're having fun now. Um, so you know this is flock pool. All right. Big hubbub is flock pool is the big boy in town. They have the majority of everything running. I guess the, I guess the majority of hash rate, you could say, uh, whatever. So the goal is to get off there and you know spread the wealth around and diversify, decentralize. Don't have it all in one pool right i guess i'm still new to this i'm trying to figure out why i guess you don't want to have all everything on one pool that the developers of everyone have created you want to spread it out but having said that flock pool does have a nice interface they make it easy to find the information you need and they pay out you can set the payout levels which i like uh, what i then did is switch to this other pool just to be a good raptorium citizen right so what is this? This is just another pool. This one is 1% fee. And they say if you mine on a uh, flock pool right now, you get a 0.75 or something like that. But it's still, if you go to this one, if you're US or Supernova, whatever, uh, you get 0.5% fee. All right, fees. I like low fees. fees make, low fees make me happy. All right, so what are we going to do now? We're going to switch that pool I just set to wrap. Torian um, to a zero one one data from flock pool to this one. <clears throat> How do you do that? Oh my gosh, what is zero one one data? Let's click on it. Click on the link and it takes you there. There's your pool fee, gives you kind of information. Again, not as sweet as the flock pool GUI, but eh, it works, right? Expand. Here's your dashboard. I always go down go down to pools if you're a first timer. All the pools. What all the pools do I have on this guy? It's a little slow. It's a little slow. It's a little slow. It's still thinking. Oh, I'm thinking. Show me the pools. Do, 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 do. What's that music? Do, 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 do. All right. They have one RTM. It's not as intuitive, but here is the. They show it right here. It's not a simple cut and paste. They give you placeholders. So you gotta kinda understand what the what to replace here. All you really need is that stratum TCP raptorna 011 data.com and the port to replace in the CPU miner config file. What ports are there? Oh my gosh, they should tell you. Oh, they do tell you right here. These are the valid ports 304, 308, 3032, 3256 whatever pick a port you got four to choose from i wish they had one line where you just cut and paste or build the url but they're not they're not as refined yet they're getting there they're getting there all right so how do you change that so what do i do what do i do let's go over all right what i did you'll have your config.json right so what i do i save off now since i have multiple pools i just do backup files i make a config slash dash flock pool dot json config dash raptorna raptorna dot json 
and all you do given that information you open this file you open the uh, config file right and all you do is set that stratum that URL to what I showed you over here this thing that stratum note this is different this has TCP no secure it's not secure so it's TCP it's not using SSL so if that's a concern to you that's something to consider so let's go over here so you know don't just cut and paste the URL cut and paste the whole stratum line because the flock pool has TCPS so this is TCP Raptorna 011 data.com port 3008 remember the ports boom I've just picked the second one you can pick one of those four there you go I get it I did not I'll be honest I'm an idiot I did not even see this it took me like an hour to say where are the freaking ports because I just kept looking up here oh they're right in front of my face ideally they should have made a nice for example here's a URL with everything filled out but I'm a little slow so what are you gonna do all right let's get back to this it's taking too long almost 10 minutes all right guys what do we do we're switching from flock pool to raptorum so the two ones again as when you first got into the config file you downloaded the cp miner got into the config file set your appropriate flock pool because you said oh, i'm gonna do flock pool S set your uh, raptorium wallet and then set your password so now we're switching i want to go to 011 data which is raptorna which i don't know why it's kind of misleading they don't even i don't know I don't know why they call it that that's kind of that was misleading too that first part so this is the problem with one of these minor pools is because it's almost like they're still developing them and they're still refining them, which is fine as long as they work so anyway easier than I'm making it sound so again so I said remember I had the old flock pool stuff right there this is what I was running I want to switch to the other pool all one my data and all I do like I said is I cut and paste this you know the the stratum for the raptorna with my port and I do the backup as well right there with my port and I keep my wallet the same and my name the same and I set my password that is all you do to switch poles right and the other thing you do if you leave your windows open and then you're all good and good and happy you just let it rip you do right click I run as administrator and you let it rip if you get permissions error privilege errors on, on some of the stuff is trying to load for your CPU go into binaries and what I did if you do see a lot of red and say I don't have permission to do they may ask you to reboot to get the permissions or privileges if you're still getting those what I did just to make sure I had privilege to run these when I'm running as administrator I would right click on each one of these applications here sorry about the iPhone so that's all I got uh, compatibility run this program as an administrator and I hit okay kablamo right I do it for all these guys uh, it's gonna pick based on what a processor you have it's gonna use one of these it's almost like a codec you could say for how to process the CPU they have them all laid out for you and you'll see the little yellow smudge shield on top of the uh, application icon to show that it is administrator uh, able to run by administrator mode all right let's go back boom you kick this puppy off comes over here I'm already running and you'll see look at that holy mackerel there it is there's my port there I'm running there's my hashies there so when you first start this guy right it's going to jump over to um, even so you're running at Raptorum, right? Even if you're running a flock pool, it's going to switch to the EU flock pool and pay the developer fee. <laughs> it's kind of kind of kind of interesting they do that. Be mindful when you see it flip initially. They're paying their job. Why am I on flock pool when I switch to Raptorna? Or why is it going to EU flock pool and not US? That's why it's flipping over to pay the guy's fee. Um, whatever. So this is going to start running when you first run the CPU miner it will go and it will tune sometimes it takes a while to tune just let it go like I said like a dog hump in your leg let it finish it's gonna tune it in and it's gonna optimize how much hash you can do uh, on the um, on the pole for CPU mining Raptorium
not too bad it's not for normies you got to know about stratums and urls and you're setting up your wallet and all that yummy good stuff most people don't get that and that's fine more hash for the rest of us right all right let's close this so i set up my wallet what does that mean all right let's see if i can remember again their dashboard is not as good so bear with me oh good i already have it up all right this is my dashboard after it's been running for a day or so right so you can see what I got paid out. Not much, again, not like these other rock stars that are churning with 20,000 Ryzen 9 3900s. I'm running two. <laughs> I'm running two. I'm just, uh, and these are, these are not only, there's only two 3900s on here. The rest are Ryzen 5s and Ryzen 3s. Uh, I forget what I'm running on my, I'm actually running my laptops too, which are not, which are doing pretty decent. Laptops for both. GPU mining and CPU mining have been awesome. A Lenovo and a Dell. I have a Dell 3080 and a 1660 and a Lenovo. And I do now just CPU mining with them as well. They get a little warm, but those things are reliable as heck. I have not had any issues. They haven't crashed. There's a little bit of heat thing. Uh, but they. I'm telling you, man, I'm, I'm sold on laptop mining. Quick and dirty. Get you up and running. You don't have to monitor it. Boom, just let it rip. So here's the dashboard again let's get back to it there's that it shows you all the goodness what's happening i, I got paid 99.4 i think the minimum payout now is roughly 20. yeah i think 20 rtm when you hit that it pays you out to your wallet um gives you all this stuff here's all your workers all little color coded so you can see the performance, the spikes. The thing is up and down, man. Things all over the place. But the uh, this color here, five and the blue are my. That's weird. I can match reboot number seven. Because they're both the Ryzen nine. I think they have the same memory. They're both Ryzen nine three hundred, but this other one, five, it seems to be doing better. I'm gonna, yeah. Maybe sometimes you got to reboot the clear things out and restart it. So I think Ryzen, I mean, Rock, Rocco Taco Rig 7 is going to get a reboot just to let it compete, see if it improves performance with uh, Rocco Taco Rig 5, which is the same CPU. I'm going to check memory. Anyway, here you go. You get a nice little summary. So the, this is not bad. I give them credit. They're, they're working on it. This is, gives you enough information to see what's, what's happening, who's doing what. Yeah, 5 is definitely doing better than 7, which, I don't know. I'm going to check the memory sticks I got on that and see what the heck is the problem. Maybe I got 2400s in here. This is 3300, you know, DDR uh, memory. I don't know. I just don't know. This is why you look at the dashboard. You say, well, why is this one running less than this one, performing less when they're the same? Good to know. Anyway, as you go on and get your payouts, kablamo, look at that, guys. Holy mackerel, this is your Raptorium wallet on your desktop. This is what you've all been living for. This is your, your goal on this video, is here's my payouts. You can see the wallet name I picked. If you have 50 wallet names, you'll see the actual wallet name. And a way you can actually tell if you want to by setting up those different wallet names. Bum, bum, bum. You can then tell where the Raptorium is is being sent from where you who is sending it to you right now i'm just all using this one which if i used a couple guys on flock pool and a couple guys on uh on zero one my data i can't really tell right now but if you have multiple names all you do is specify it and where i just showed you in the receiving addresses and you will see them right here you could say rocco taco uh oh one one data rocco taco flock pool and just have a grand old time watching that all right, there you go, guys. That's where I'm at. This is what I'm showing your wallets. And then also the gold here is go into this. And back up your wallet. It just makes the .dat file. Back that guy up. Put it on USB or somewhere. Just so you have it. And what else? I think that's it. I think that is all I have. I showed you... Zero Woman Data, I showed you Flock Pool, I showed you the where to look for different polling sites. Zerg Pool's not bad, I used that for Ravencoin Lite, they were, they were stable. Uh, let's see, and the rest is history. And it actually shows you the uh, little Raptorium price over here. What are we at? 
Uh, we're inching up a little bit. Come on, big money. And yeah, we'll down 12%, but still about five cents. What do you think? What do you guys think? Is this fun or not? I mean, CPU prices have jacked up, but they're coming back down now a little bit. I'm watching those 3900s. I'm watching them like a hawk, but they're still like mid fives, which is ridiculous. I want mid fours. Maybe people are going to, you know, with the uh, this kind of dipping down a bit, maybe people will just say, eh, I'm not going to waste money on the uh, CPUs and just keep over mind GPUs. I like the CPU mining concept. It's low profile. You just have a freaking CPU with a memory stick and a power supply. You can go headless with no GPU and you can put in a M2 SDD so you don't have a SATA um, external Kingston or something drive hanging off on a cable and a dongle. You can just put a M2 say, uh, SDD on there, set windows on it, boom. You have, it's just a board, a CPU, and a power supply, and that's it. And, oh, Wi-Fi. Even why put a little Wi-Fi USB in there, that is the minimum profile, minimal heat, and you can rack and stack them. And if you can make as much money GP mining, <laughs> CPU mining is going to be the win. Because dealing with this heat in GPUs, right there, guys, there's the gold. Dealing with heat in this drives me nuts. But I got the I got the grow tent refined. I found my issue with the stupid cover on the um, the louver on the outside. I had a, it was a um, louver vent which is causing too much blockage and then making the heat rise in the tent. I just ripped that thing off, made my new window insert. Boom! My temperature dropped seven degrees. I'm I'm in heaven. I can actually sit in here and not and the noise is down and not sweat to death. The fan noise I can run on low versus high setting and I know it's working out. It's, I get the negative pressure and I'm happy. Look, I don't know, is this better to use a different pool than this pool? You guys tell me. Is it harder to get stuff on this pool if you're just a little junior miner like me? Or is it better to go to one of these other pools like 011 or um, Zerg pool and do you, get, do you uh, make more? I don't know yet. I'm still, I'm still looking at those numbers. I need to maybe split a Ryzen 9 on flock pool and one Ryzen 9 on uh, 0 one one data and just do a bake off and see see which is better. But that's assuming I got time and to do that. But I, I need to do that and I'm going to reboot that one because, again, always look at your stats. Eyeball them whenever you can and you say, well, this guy's low, 7. I got to reboot that. I want to see if I can bring him up. They should be performing the same. It could be memory. That's all I got. Thank you. My dog thanks you. Because without you guys, he doesn't eat. No, I'm kidding. But, yeah. <laughs> i got to take him out for a walk. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope this helped. This is good for me to talk it out. So make sure I'm doing it right. I'm sure there's other shortcuts. But this is all I know. How you simply s download the stuff, set up your wallet, and um, change pools if you have to. And know where to look to get that information. Is, is it, it, it's key. So I hope this helps. Go forth. Go forth and do great things. I'm going to talk to you later. Bye. I'm out.